Hello Scorpios, welcome to your love reading for October 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below in my YouTube channel or text me at 646-902-5715. Also, I'm running a 24-hour turnaround special plus additional bonus minutes from now until midnight. And today is Friday, September 6th. So if you get it in before uh, midnight today, um, I can squeeze you in. So let's see what's going on for love. Oh. Uh, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for love for October 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? Energies that you passed out of prior to, we have the Emperor card in the reverse, which is the card of Aries. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I will have um, Hunter's Moon. We're going to be focusing on Hunter's Moon this month, which is October 10th. I mean, October 16th to October 17th. I will have a little teaser at the end of this, and we will talk about what to release, what to hunt, and how you'll prepare for it. Okay, we have the Seven of... Oh, sorry, the Six of Swords in the upright. Um for the energies in October. In my playlist, your 2025 sun moon readings, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. They continue to come out. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone else. We end on the justice card in the reverse, which is the card of Libra. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend and support in my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. So Scorpio, it appears, it appears the energies prior to um, October, we have with the Emperor card in reverse, I'm feeling a person who is really belligerent. The Emperor card in reverse, I do not like he. He is somebody who, it's when assertion turns into aggression. It's when, um, it's when boundaries turn into imposition. It's where they become very dominating, they become very cruel, they become a tyrant, and you absolutely have no control whatsoever. So I feel that this person, either you're starting to see their dark side or things have escalated to a point, maybe you saw the red flags before and now now things are really getting bad, I feel. Um, Sometimes, believe it or not, with Emperor card in reverse, to me, there can be signs of emotional abuse, physical abuse, things of that nature. Of course, if that's your situation, you should definitely seek help to get out of it as quickly as possible. Um, some of you are getting out of it as quickly as possible because I'm seeing the Six of Swords in the upright, and here you are just kind of, you know, getting off of your boat and saying, I'm done, I'm over it, and taking the kid with me too. So some of you might have children, you're actually removing them from the situation because you're realizing that it's not a very good influence for them. So... I do feel that some of you are going to be moving away from this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I think you do have some regrets. I think there is going to be some sorrow because you did have an attachment to this person at one time. But I do think you know that you're doing the right thing. I know you're, that you know that you're moving towards a better place for yourself. And some of you could actually be re relocating over or by water. Sometimes that is symbolic of the Six of Swords in the Upright. Now, as you move out of October into November, I feel you're going to hear from this person. I feel as though they're going to throw a little pity party and how could you and why are you doing this? Um, because I do feel like you've taken yourself off of their map and this really has kind of thrown them. I don't feel like they thought you were going to step in your power and actually do this. So with the justice card in reverse, it's it's the, oh, this is so unfair. How could you do this? They might try to shift the blame on you, make it seem like you're the one that's causing the injustice towards them. They're definitely not going to take any accountability or any responsibility for the dissolution of the relationship. So definitely don't expect that, um, you know, is what I would say. Um, you definitely did the right thing. So don't let them kind of make it seem like you were unfair and try to tell your heartstrings and other things of that nature. OK, they might also try to say to you that people are going to judge you for your actions. Um, and then it's going to reflect poorly on you. Obviously, they're dishonest. They're going to say whatever they can um, in order to try to get you back or get control over you. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the Emperor card here in reverse for Scorpios? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. Why is the Emperor card here in reverse for Scorpios? Yeah, a lot of heartbreak going on. I mean, it's just absolute torment with the Three of Swords and the Upright that was going on prior to October. This person is just causing you excessive pain, piercing your heart. Um, I feel like it's relentless. I really don't feel like they're a very good person. 
They're really trying to make you feel less confident about yourself, doubt yourself. Um, they're trying to make you feel like you're a failure. They're really making it hard for you to um, kind of do things. They're kind of um, making it seem as though other people are judging you, like I said over here. Um, to kind of keep you in your box, I feel. And with the chariot card in the upright, this is good because this is where you're seeing that there's something better out there for you. Chariot card in the upright is a card of cancer and this is you kind of stepping into your power, in my opinion, and saying, I deserve better than this. And really picking a goal for yourself and concentrating on that goal, saying that you need to take care of yourself, uh, your family, if they're involved, and you need to kind of get things going. So I do see that you were fixating on how you're going to get out of this situation, what you're going to do. And believe it or not, some of you might have actually bought a new car to get out of the situation or a car to get out of the situation. Some of you might not have had a vehicle and this person was in charge of your transportation and you decided no longer I'm going to free myself from from that why is the six of swords here in the upright who's this person what's this energy okay we have the four of cups in the reverse we have the high priestess in the reverse and the tower card in the reverse okay so I mean I'm seeing a few things um at first, I don't feel as though this person pursues you. I feel as though they just hang out for a little while with the expectation that you're going to kind of be back. So they're hanging out in limbo, not not reaching out, not begging, anything of that nature. I'm almost getting this haughtiness as though they'll be back. There's no way this person's going to leave. Um, High Priestess in Reverse kind of leads me to believe that they are it's still the same thing. Like they're on their high horse. They feel as though you're going to need them for validation. Um, you're going to figure out that you're going in the wrong direction. By the way, if my cat's meowing in the background, that's one of them just caught a pretend mouse and it's just going nuts. Is that my mouse? Dookie, stop. Thank you. He gets to eat. That cat's ridiculous. Anyways, um, so I apologize if it keeps on meowing. But here's where, you know, I just feel like they'll be back. They know that they're going down there. They know that they've made a wrong decision. And I mean, I honestly don't like that they're kind of being like that. And furthermore, I feel as though they know that they haven't been very kind to you, but they just kind of talk themselves out of that in whatever way they need to. The good thing is you're going to get perspective once you kind of get where you're going. You're going to see, you might not under have understood it before and may not even understand it in October, but this is leading to something greater. You're going to understand the, the greatness of um, what you went through and how you had to go through that to get to the other side of it because it really is going to change your perspective it's going to change you as a person for the better um, and, and change your viewpoints about people and things like that so going through this adversity is really going to benefit you in the long run why is the justice card here in reverse or Scorpios who's this person what's this energy okay so now this person's pouting and and you know calling unfair because you're, you've are you moved into a new place, um, a new abode, a new situation. You're very, very happy. You actually may have made friends. You're celebrating with them. You may have connected with family and they're, you know, um, welcoming you with open arms. You're very harmonious and they don't like that you're having these experiences outside of them. In addition to that, you're clearly moving on with the five of cups in reverse. You've recovered. You're saying to yourself, I'm going to suffer no longer. And again, meeting out with friends, people that lift your spirits, people that emotionally support you and you're starting to feel like your old self again and then finally we end on the victory card in the upright how beautiful is that uh, literally saying victory over this triumphing over this and people recognizing you and praising you for stepping your power and getting done what needs to get done i mean they really think they're clapping and saying job well done for having the courage to realize that you deserve better in leaving this situation so that's what i have for you scorpios this month if it does resonate because a personal pre-recorded live reading i am running a 24-hour turnaround special with additional bonus minutes until midnight tonight today is friday september 6th so just contact me through the link tree below um in my youtube channel i'm in youtube obviously right now or text me at 646-902-5715 otherwise make sure you click on the video link below uh for the hunter's boon and i'm actually going to go into that spread right now i'm going to give you a little teaser and so that you can see the cards that are going to be in that spread and the Hunter's Moon is from the period of October 16th to October 17th. It's going to obviously rise 
the night of October 16th. Um, in this spread, I'm actually gonna have what you need to release, what to hunt, and how you will prepare moving forward as a result of it. So Scorpios, let me tell you during this time, there will be an explosion of ideas, growth coming from all directions. Take advantage of these resources to manifest positive shifts in your career. Personal connections or relationships are going to be the utmost importance during this time, so be sure to show extra love to your family and friends. Initiate some of those creative projects that have been bouncing around in your head also. So let's see, what does Scorpio need to release during the Hunter's Moon? What do they need to release? We have the King of Wands and the Upright. What do they need to hunt or go after? We have the Ten of Pentacles in the Upright. And how will Scorpio prepare better after the Hunter's Moon? The Seven of Swords in the Upright, which is the Thief card. Okay, so that's the spread I have. Click on the Vimeo link below. I will continue that. Click on the link below for the 24-hour turnaround special. In my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings that continue to come out. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. And you can always refer a friend. Otherwise, Scorpios, I will see you in your Vimeo reading next. Adios from Veronica. Darn it. Bye.